Hey, how's it going? My name is Todd Baginski. I'm a Microsoft MVP and the partner and CTO at Canvas. I've been working on a lot of Power Apps projects lately, and in many of the projects, I have to create two form factors of the Power App. That is, one that is in a mobile form factor or a phone form factor like this, and then I need to recreate the exact same app styled a little bit differently and built a little bit differently, but doing the same functionality in a tablet form factor. Now, as you may or may not know, there's really no out-of-the-box way to do this in a Power App. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert this mobile app to a tablet app in Power App really quickly and easily. One thing I want to point out before I go any further is this is not a supported way to convert a Power App by Microsoft. So if you do this and your Power App doesn't work, Microsoft is not going to help you out with it. I have not experienced any problems with this approach myself. It's worked just fine every time I've done it, but I just want to say that right off the bat. The first step is to take the app that you've already built. In this case, it's the phone version of the app. I'm going to go up to File, pick Save As, This Computer, and now I've exported the Company Events app. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close the Company Events app, and I'm going to create a new app with the tablet form factor. After I create the one in the tablet form factor, I'm going to save it and give it a name, just like that. We can see the original one I worked with down here, and the new one is named Company Events parentheses Tablet. I'm going to pick to this computer, and now I have saved that app to this my computer as well. I can then go open up my downloads folder and I can see both of the apps here in my downloads folder. After I've done that, I'm going to rename this one tablet and I'm going to rename this one to phone. That'll help me keep track of which one they both are. Once I've renamed them, I'm going to add the .zip to both of these files. This is going to allow me to extract the contents of these files. Then I'm going to extract those files from both of them just like that. Now that I have the files extracted, I'm going to quickly rename these directories and take off the MS app extension. So it's very clear what I'm working with in all cases here. Then I'm going to go into the different apps and like this and see what I pulled out of them. So I'm going to open this up with Visual Studio Code, the properties JSON file. Here it is. I can hit Control A, K, F and format that. And this is the company event power app. Next thing I'm going to do is go over to the tablet directory and I'm going to open up that exa exact same properties JSON file from the tablet version. So I'll just drag that one over here. Now I can tile them back and forth, control AKF, format it. Now I can see here I have the phone version, my original version on the left, the one that I fully built, and on the right, you can see in the path I have my tablet version. This is the one that contained no functionality inside of it. So there they are side by side and you can see the metadata that defines a power app. The next step is to edit this properties JSON file so that you can take the information from the app you've already created and put it inside of the new tablet definition. We can see again the tablet on the right here. Notice the layout width and the height are larger than they are inside of the original version we started with. 
Notice also, we do not have any connection references to our connectors in the new one that we created and didn't do any coding in. Also notice the originating version here is different. Since I created the version on the left, Power Apps has been revved by two thousandths, and it's now 1.237 instead of 1.235. And then finally, you'll notice the app type is desktop or tablet on the new one I made. The control ID is something we don't need to edit. But what I do want to do is I want to bring across my connections. So this new app will use the same data as my old app. So now it's connected to the same Excel sheets. The next thing I want to do is I want to make sure I set the originating version to be the same. There could be new things in the scheme of Power Apps or the controls um, that I need to make sure I started with my original version before I come back here uh, if anything was edited. So I'm going to marry that up too. After I've got that done, I'm going to save the file. So I just saved the tablet version of the file. If we come back and look in the tablet, you can see that 4.44 p.m. is now when this was created. It's different from all the other files inside of my Power App. Now there's one more thing that I need to do. I need to come up here and give this a better name. It's just got app.msapp right off the bat. So I'm going to call this company plus events plus tablet, right like that. The plus is a space delimiter in this uh, syntax of the schema they have here in the Power App Manifest. So again, I'll save that file there, come back, see it is now changed again. And now I'm ready to take this file that I created from the tablet and put it into my other Power App. That's going to allow me to actually change the form factor. Once you've edited the file, then you need to take it and put it into the MS app package so you can upload it again. If I open up another folder of my downloads folder here, I can see that the phone MS app that I created 113 KB versus that simple tablet one with nothing in it was only 7 KB. So the phone app is the one that has all my resources that actually define my power app. So what I'm going to do and it's very important to do it this way, is I'm going to open up that zip file in whatever editor I use to work with zip files. Here you can see I'm using WinRAR. You could use 7-zip or WinZip or something like that as well. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the properties of that tablet one that I edited in Visual Studio Code, and I'm going to drag it and drop it in here. You can then see that the timestamp in here is updated as well. You may think that you could just re-zip the contents of this tablet folder and import it into Power Apps. That will not work. The only way that I found to get it to work is to actually drag and drop the file into the existing zip file. So this is the one that is called phone.msapp.zip, but as we know, inside the metadata in that properties file is not the original phone app anymore. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the renaming of that msapp file to the .zip file. And after I've got that done, I'm going to come back to Power Apps here, and I'm going to go to Open and click Browse, pick that one, and hit open. Now once I open that file up, now we're going to see all of those capabilities that I already implemented in the mobile app appear in the tablet form factor. But not quite done yet. We're going to go up to file, screen size and orientation, flip it over to a different size, apply it, after we've applied it, we're going to save those changes. And then we're going to flip it back to the 16 by 9 ratio again. So apply, save, give it the name, 
company events tablet hit save I think the reason we didn't see it say company events tab was I probably forgot to save it after I did that name change in Visual Studio Code the second time. So after we've saved it there, then we're going to flip it back to 16.9 again and hit apply. And after we apply the change that time and save one more time, we can then come back up here and click the arrow and head back to our design surface. So now you can see this control is staying within the size of my design surface here. If I go ahead and play the app, we can indeed see that all the data here is coming from Excel and I'm wired up to that same data connection I was before. So I can go through and search and look for information. But our layout isn't right, obviously, because we want the tablet form factor so instead, what I can do is choose a simple page like this one to demonstrate. There's our about page. And then I can just come into that page and I can start editing it. So I can grab the data card for my right content here and the controls within it. And I can just start moving those things out and resizing things however I'd like them to appear. For instance, here is the rectangle at the top of the page. Here are different controls inside of it. And at that point, basically, you are just dragging and dropping and resizing things until you get them how you want them to look in the tablet interface. And then you can just go save again. And so now you have all that hard work you did on managing control states and setting colors and fonts and importing images and everything you did to develop the app. And now it's inside of a tablet form factor. Hope this video helps you out. Enjoy your power apping.